Hello everyone. So now in the glass lab diagram, a simple trick to do this diagram is that take your scale and keep it like this, such that now the important thing is the point that you're taking over here and this point over here on the opposite sides. They should not come in a line, but they should be diagonally opposite like this to each other. Now, once that is done, once you are sure about this, what you have to just do is mark the incident ray and extend it in a dotted line inside the glass lab and outside the glass lab. And on the other side, at the lower bottom of the glass lab, take your emergent ray. So your incident ray is done, your emergent ray is done, and the original direction of travelling of the incident ray is done. Now you can remove the scale and just take these two points and join them. The refraction is seen very clearly over here. Make the rays drawn over here properly now. Show them a bit long for the clarity on both the sides. Also extend the original direction so that we get a clarity over here. So both the side extension has been done. And now the last thing is to draw the normals. So here we are done with the normals. Now, mark the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction, the angle of emergence, mark the lateral displacement as x, mark your incident ray as pq, a refracted ray as qr and emergent ray as rs. Also mark the normals as n n prime we we'll take n prime over here and this we can mark it as n double prime or you can also mark it as m and m prime last lab the diagram is done now what is left is to draw the sorry paint the red links so pq is our incident ray The glass lab is A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D is our glass lab. PQ is the incident ray. QR is the refracted ray. RS is the emergent ray. Angle I is the angle of incidence angle r is the angle of refraction angle e is the angle of emergence x is your lateral displacement And N, N prime, M, M prime are the normals to the surface. AD and BC respectively. So this is how this should look. I am repeating the tips over here. Place your scale, your ruler like this. So that you have one point on this side. And the other point on this side. And then mark your incident ray. The original direction of incident ray. The emergent ray. What you have to remember is. 
these should two points q and r should not come in a line they should be a distant apart from this so see you can see the distance apart over here so that is what is required so if you do this correctly that fetches you your complete marks is that i hope this is very clear to everyone okay also make sure the arrows have to be drawn without the arrows you are supposed to get zero so that is how your blast map diagram overall should look